Well, 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 Don Mafia. Welcome to a very sad edition of the Don Mafia Report. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just scrolling through Twitter, and ironically, I just got done bragging on how the Buffalo Bills have yet to have a player to opt out of the season. I must have jinxed it. My sincerest apologies. But legitimately minutes ago, news broke that defensive tackle star Lutalele is voluntarily opting out of the NFL season due to COVID-19 concerns. Now, this year's star was guaranteed $4.5 million and then $2.5 million that following year. Um, Since there's no pay, no play, that contract is going to be extended to 2021 and 2022. Now, I don't blame Star. I definitely understand that we're living under unprecedented times right now. I mean, for all we know, he has a young child. Maybe he lives with his grandmother, his grandparents, and he's putting the safety and the health of his family above everyone else. But selfishly, your boy was a little sad, right? I was really hoping that um, this year that all the Bills players would want to play just because they see the potential of where this team is going in 2020. So now we got to ask ourselves, is this going to be a death blow to the Buffalo Bills defensive line? And realistically, guys, say that this were to happen, you know, back when we had depth issues in just about every single department that you could name. Um, I'm really not too concerned about this. Star was a fantastic asset in stopping the run. Um, However, I do think that the depth that we've been able to acquire for our defensive line is going to be... um, very helpful, right? Thank God we have Harrison Phillips coming back. Uh, Seeing that he is just a glimmer of what he was for those couple of games that he played for us in 2019, then I think that he'll be able to fit that mold and fill that role very nicely. And then on top of that, we also have a new addition, which would be Vernon Butler as well, right within that defensive tackle position by itself. So say, for example, that we had some type of depth issues, then yeah, 110% your boy would be absolutely nervous. Today has definitely been interesting as far as all the opt-outs. I think the team that ended up getting hit the worst was hands down the New England Patriots. I mean, at the end of the day, um, they ended up losing like six players, one of which is Dante Hightower. Then they ended up losing uh, their safety, Chung. So if anything, I guess that it's a positive for the Bills, especially since that Without those two players, I don't see the New England Patriots being the number one ranked defense in the entire NFL. Then again, Belichick, I mean, he'll probably pull something out of his ass eventually. But at the end of the day, let's cross our fingers, knock on wood, that Bills players just continue to report to camp and we don't see another tweet notification that another player decided to move away. Yesterday, thank God, Stephon Diggs tweeted out, yo, I'm in Buffalo, where should I eat? I highly doubt your boy just flew up to Buffalo for a Monday night dinner just to announce that he wasn't playing in 2020. I don't think that that's happening, so it looks like he's safe. Micah Hyde's still a concern. Um, I know that he voiced his concerns with the entire uh, handling of COVID-19 and the NFL, so whatever. I'm not jinxing it. We're knocking on wood. Let's hope that everything you know, works out. Besides that, Don Mafia, thank you for tuning in to a very special report, a very sad report. Leave your comments. Leave your thoughts. Do you think Harrison Phillips and Vernon Butler can fit that mold and um, make it seem like Star never opted out in the first place? Let me know what's good. Dom Mafia, thank you again for tuning in. And above all else, let's go Buffalo.